Hello fellow developers, hope you are having a great day, this is Andrew Talking, and today we will take a look at few interesting features that are coming with new Swift 5.9. Swift 5.9 comes with Xcode 15 and brings improvements and some powerful features like simpler way to use if and switch statements, macros, non copyable types, custom actor executors and more smaller changes. Let's start from if and switch expressions. This proposal introduces the ability to use if and switch statements as expressions for the purpose of returning values from functions, properties and closures, assigning values to variables and declaring variables. Next, value and type parameter packs. Those proposals allow us to use variadic generics in new Swift. They solve a significant problem in Swift, which is that generic functions required a specific number of type parameters. These functions could still accept variadic parameters, but they still had to use the same time ultimately. Those proposals combine to add macros to Swift, which allows us to create code that transforms syntax at compile time. Swift macros allows you to generate the repetitive code at compile time, making your app's code base more expressive and easier to read. For more in-depth view, we will take a look at macros in the next videos. Here is a quick example of macros. This macros is designed to transform a regular string into a URL, not optional type, but a regular. Non-copyable structs and enums. All currently existing types in Swift are copyable, meaning it's possible to create multiple identical interchangeable representations of any value of the type. However, copyable structs and enums are not a great model for unique resources. Classes, by contrast, can represent a unique resource, since an object has a unique identity once initialized, and only references to that unique object get copied. This imposes overhead in the form of heap allocation and reference counting. Non-copyable also introduces few new keywords to remember like copyable, consuming, consume, and discard. And again, we'll take a closer look at non-copyable structs and enums in the following videos. Convenience MakeStream method. This proposal adds new MakeStream method to both async stream and async throwing stream that sends back both the stream itself alongside with its continuation. Add Sleep4 to Clock. This proposal adds new extension to method Swift's Clock protocol that allows us to suspend execution for a set number of seconds, but also extends duration based task sleeping to support a specific tolerance. So those are just a few noticeable features of Swift 5.9. If you open the documentation, you can find a ton more changes and features. So this is it, thank you very much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video. Happy coding and goodbye.